Today, we're going to explore humanity's potential, rise through the Kardashev scale, a framework that measures a civilization's ability to harness and utilize energy. The Kardashev scale, originally proposed by the Russian astrophysicist Nikolai Kardashev, categorizes civilizations into different levels based on their energy utilization capabilities. At the starting point, we find the humble Type Zero civilization tethered to finite resources on their home planet. Progressing to a Type One civilization, they unlock the potential to tap into their planet's energy and even command natural forces. As we ascend further, a Type II civilization can directly consume all the radiant energy of their sun, possibly with the use of a Dyson sphere. Finally, a Type III civilization stands at the pinnacle, with the extraordinary capability to capture and utilize the entire energy output of its galaxy, encompassing stars, black holes, and all celestial objects within its reach. If there's even a chance of the Earth becoming a Type II civilization, the big question remains, will humanity truly be safe in this new era of boundless power? And will humanity ever reach this point? To reach this remarkable milestone on the Kardashev scale, we must learn to extract energy not only from Earth, but also directly from our life-giving star, the Sun. We're not talking about your ordinary solar panels here. Instead, we're talking about an awe-inspiring megastructure, a Dyson Sphere. This ingenious concept was first introduced by Professor Freeman Dyson of Princeton University in 1960. In modern terms, a Dyson Sphere isn't just a massive, solid shell encasing a star. It's a colossal structure that surrounds the star and its nearest planets. This megastructure can harness all of the star's energy, converting it into electricity while dissipating excess heat in the form of infrared radiation. The radius of this behemoth spans one astronomical unit, which is the distance from our planet to the sun. The shell's material is about three meters thick, giving you an idea of its colossal scale. However, let's dive into the potential roadblocks and challenges that await us on the journey to construct a Dyson Sphere. The first and most glaring issue is the sheer demand for resources. To build this monumental structure, we'll need an astronomical quantity of materials. To put it into perspective, we're talking about a staggering 1.5 to 10 to the 24th power tons of material. That's equivalent to the mass of the largest planet in our solar system, Jupiter. Achieving this ambitious goal will necessitate mining asteroids and possibly disassembling entire planets for their resources. Yet, resource scarcity isn't the sole hurdle we face. The structure must be crafted with impeccable precision, as any deviation from a perfect sphere could result in the sun's gravitational forces crushing it. Moreover, the materials must be extraordinarily robust, given that even the most advanced carbon-based materials like graphene are unsuitable for this monumental task. Even if we manage to overcome these formidable challenges and construct the Dyson Sphere, it would still be a precarious structure. Any external interference, such as a meteorite impact, could alter its position slightly, causing it to drift toward the sun and ultimately crumble. Another concern that arises with the construction of a complete Dyson Sphere is the blocking of sunlight to planets beyond Earth's orbit. This could alter the environment and hinder our quest to explore and colonize celestial bodies. Moreover, the first solar flare could disrupt the energy production and storage of a megastructure encircling the sun. But the most critical challenge emerges in managing the colossal amount of energy that a Dyson Sphere would harvest. Our star produces an astounding 4 times 10 to the 26th power joules of energy per second. Even if a Dyson Swarm captures only a modest 10% of this energy, it would still be a staggering amount. 40 trillion times more energy than humanity currently consumes in a day. To harness this energy effectively, the ideal solution would be to convert sunlight into antimatter. However, this approach introduces new complexities. 
as storing antimatter remains a significant challenge. Storing antimatter requires the utmost precision and security measures. Scientists are exploring two potential methods, magnetic field traps and ultra-cold environments. However, these methods are not without their risks, particularly when dealing with large quantities of unstable antimatter. Any misstep could lead to an explosion of unprecedented magnitude, surpassing even the destructive power of a nuclear detonation. Despite these challenges and potential obstacles at every turn, let's imagine a future in which humanity has achieved Type II civilization status and harnessed the power of the Dyson Sphere. Would our problems be over? It's a tempting notion, but our journey is just beginning. In a Type II civilization, our reliance on traditional computers, smartphones, and similar devices will diminish. These tools will be eclipsed by revolutionary technologies such as brain-to-computer interfaces and computer-to-brain interfaces. These advancements will empower us to interact with technology through the sheer power of thought, granting us the ability to access the internet, type text, share our memories, and retrieve information instantaneously. For those who remain skeptical about implanting chips in their brains, alternative technologies like advanced eyewear reminiscent of an enhanced version of Google Glass will provide similar capabilities. One of the most transformative changes will unfold in the field of security. Space threats like colossal asteroids will no longer haunt us. Instead, these cosmic bodies will become potential sources of valuable resources. Even if a threatening object hurtles toward Earth, we'll have a formidable weapon in our arsenal, the Death Star. This spherical satellite, orbiting Earth with a diameter of approximately 160 kilometers, contains a tank of antimatter. In the event of a celestial menace, the Death Star can release an antimatter beam, obliterating the threat. The force required to disrupt an object is only slightly greater than the gravitational pull holding it together. Consider the asteroid Apophis, which has made several close approaches to Earth, weighing around 27 billion kilograms. It would take less than five and a half kilograms of antimatter to neutralize it. The Death Star ensures humanity's safety by swiftly annihilating any looming danger. However, even within a Type II civilization, there will be division among countries though the nature of this division will significantly differ from today's political landscape. In any political system, there will always be individuals or groups who harbor the intention of reshaping the world. The power to obliterate celestial threats can be wielded to inflict damage on each other. Just imagine the consequences if such a weapon fell into the wrong hands. Surprisingly, the most significant threat may not emanate from within, but from beyond our solar system. A Type II civilization might be impervious to interstellar debris like massive asteroids, but when representatives of extraterrestrial civilizations visit our solar system, humanity may find itself at a perilous crossroads. Their arrival suggests that these civilizations have achieved a higher standing on the Kardashev scale Type III this level of advancement would signify the ability to harness energy not just from a single star, but from sources throughout the entire galaxy. Unfortunately, the construction of a Dyson Sphere or similar megastructures makes us conspicuous. Any megastructure surrounding a star emits infrared radiation, revealing our presence in the cosmos. Scientists have already begun hunting for such signatures in other galaxies. In 2015, the GHAT project examined thousands of galaxies in the infrared range, but found no traces of advanced civilizations. This absence of evidence suggests that advanced civilizations may be intentionally concealing their presence. However, in 2021, researchers had more promising results. Analyzing data from over 16,000 galaxies, they discovered that four of them exhibited higher levels of infrared radiation than anticipated. While two of these galaxies had natural explanations for the anomaly, the other two did not. 
this radiation intensity could be attributed to an abundance of dust in these galaxies, but there's also the possibility that it might signify the existence of an advanced civilization. One theory speculates that advanced civilizations have developed an alternative to Dyson spheres, smart dust. This is a collection of self-replicating nanobots that, like conventional megastructures, harvest energy around stars, nebulae, and other celestial sources. However, smart dust offers the advantage of decentralization. These microscopic particles can provide power to colonies scattered across the galaxy, acting as recharge points for interstellar travelers. The concept of smart dust presents a more efficient approach compared to traditional megastructures like the Dyson Sphere. While smart dust holds the potential to revolutionize energy harvesting, it remains challenging to remain incognito. Any civilization capable of constructing megastructures, including smart dust networks, will inadvertently announce its existence to the universe through the emission of infrared radiation. So, what options does humanity have to evade the scrutiny of advanced extraterrestrial civilizations? To remain inconspicuous, we would have to embark on an astonishing journey, the relocation of our entire solar system. One promising concept is the stellar engine, which has the power to move the sun and all its accompanying planets along a specified path. The idea is to employ solar radiation as a means of propulsion. One concept, the Shkadov thruster, involves a massive mirror that orbits the sun. This mirror serves as a light sail, remaining static rather than revolving around the star. The uneven distribution of solar radiation creates thrust, propelling the sun and its celestial entourage in the desired direction. This concept, while simple, has the drawback of offering a relatively slow acceleration, making it infeasible for interstellar escape. A more promising proposition, the Kaplan thruster, employs solar plasma to nudge the sun along a predetermined trajectory. This form of propulsion involves a giant engine stationed beside the star, utilizing approximately a thousand kilograms of solar plasma per second. The engine will move progressively towards the sun, emitting a plasma jet on one side and an oxygen isotope jet on the other. This dynamic will cause the sun to shift in front of the engine, leading to a substantial increase in speed. The Kaplan thruster offers an accelerated path to escape potential threats and explore beyond our solar system. Nevertheless, we have one more audacious option, the Svoronos star tug. This concept combines the best features of previous propulsion ideas, incorporating both a solar-powered engine and a Dyson swarm or similar structure. The result is a mega structure that not only gathers energy, but actively propels the sun. In theory, the Svorona star tug could accelerate the sun to astonishing speeds, even reaching 27% of the speed of light. This rate of acceleration promises interstellar escape in our not so distant future. However, such an endeavor comes with a steep cost, the transformation of the sun into a brown dwarf. This transformation is a necessary sacrifice to achieve the remarkable speed required to leave the Milky Way behind. The thought of relocating an entire solar system is nothing short of astounding, but it begs the question, is this the path humanity should take? Should we retreat into the cosmos to escape a potentially aggressive extraterrestrial civilization, or should we stand our ground and seek peaceful coexistence with advanced beings from beyond. Perhaps there is an even more extraordinary path. Instead of fleeing from potential threats, we may find an alternative way to exist, transcending our physical form and becoming one with the universe. As some scientists suggest, we could upload our consciousness into a vast network of interconnected nanobots, each the size of a cosmic speck of dust. 
In this form, we would simultaneously inhabit all corners of the Milky Way, becoming an integral part of our galaxy's living consciousness. As we look to the future, the possibilities are boundless, and it's through our collective imagination and understanding that will unlock the secrets of the universe. So take a moment to hit that like button and subscribe for more engaging content. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey. And remember, the universe is vast and our potential is limitless. Until next time, stay curious, stay inspired, and stay connected to the cosmos.